With your GoPro video now converted into an easily editable format, the next step involves editing and creating your video project. In this video we'll get to know the layout of the screen where you'll be spending most of your time. Thankfully GoPro Studio doesn't have a steep learning curve and is rather simple to grasp and use. At the edit screen you'll be first greeted with an option to choose a ready-made template from GoPro's rather extensive library, depending upon whether you want a fast-paced or mellow project. Let's go ahead and select a template. The template is loaded into the bottom section known as the timeline or storyboard. This contains the sequence of events or clips used to create your project. You can select a clip by clicking on it, or moving this yellow line, known as the playhead, by clicking above the timeline and dragging to skim to different parts of the video. Beneath this video timeline are two text and two audio tracks. These are used to add text and audio at different points in your video. Just above you'll find the preview window along with basic playback controls, volume controls, as well as some editing tools allowing the splitting of clips jumping between edit points in the video and selecting in and out points, just as we did with importing our footage. You'll be focusing on this storyboard and preview section throughout your video project, so you'll get to know it rather well as you progress. The left panel is where you'll find the clips you've previously imported and converted, along with additional buttons to add audio tracks or titles into the project. Whereas the right panel, which I refer to as the power panel, holds advanced control used to tweak video and apply effects. This will change depending upon the clip currently selected and provides the ability to make changes to really customise your entire project. We'll look at these in more detail in the next video when we'll begin to create our first GoPro edit. I'll see you there.